Hello, today I want to make a sculpture of fish. Inflate a balloon leaving about 4 inch flat tail. As always we are going to twist bubble starting from the nozzle end of the balloon. Twist the first about 2 inch bubble. Twist the second soft about 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. Twist the third about 2 inch bubble. Twist the fourth soft 1 inch bubble. Twist the fifth soft about 1 inch bubble. Lock all ends of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the mouth or the lips of the fish. Twist the sixth about 2 inch bubble. Twist the seventh soft about 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the seventh bubble in one lock twist. Now we have to twist the eighth about 3 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last 7 bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the head of the fish. Now we have to make the body and the tail of the fish. Twist the ninth about 4 inch bubble. Twist the tenth soft about 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the tenth bubble in one lock twist. The next three bubbles we twist to make the tail. Twist the eleventh about 3 inch bubble. Twist the twelfth about 3 inch bubble. And twist the thirteenth about 3 inch bubble. The rest part of the balloon we will use to make uh, the bottom part of the body and the bottom fin. So if you don't have enough of the rest of the balloon, then you can readjust the size of the tail bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of the last three bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the tail. Twist the 14th about 4 inch long bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last seven bubbles in one lock twist. The rest of the balloon is the 15th bubble. It is the bottom fin. Let's fix all bubbles in proper positions. Congratulations, we have made one balloon fish. The fish looks exactly the same from top or from the bottom. Here's a top view. All right. Uh, let me fix the tail. Uh -huh. uh, here's the front view, the side view. Now I'm going to use a permanent black marker to draw the eyes, decorate the fins, tail. Make the same drawings on the other side of the fish. So both sides of our fish look the same. Congratulations again, we have made one balloon fish. We can uh, use different color balloons to make this sculpture. Um, and um, also we can uh, change the size of bubbles. And uh, it will definitely affect the size of the fish. Here's uh, another example I made. Uh, the same fish using yellow balloon. Smaller size tail, body and uh, one inch flat tail left at the end of the balloon. In the following example I use yellow balloon and bigger size bubbles to make the body, tail and even head. Ok. Instead of uh, drawing eyes, uh, we can uh, make eye bubbles and attach it to the fish. For eye bubbles I made one about 5 inch very soft white bubble. Tie both uh, ends of this bubble in one lock twist. Attach the white eye bubble with the second yellow bubble of the fish. Alright. Now we have to force the white eye bubble halfway through the loop of the fish head uh, bubbles. Make sure the eye bubble protrude evenly on both sides of the fish. We can uh, hide ends of the white balloon between bubbles or we can uh, just trim the ends with uh, scissors. 
Let's fix all bubbles in proper positions. Congratulations, we have made the fish with eye bubbles. Once again, I'm using a black permanent marker to draw eyes, fins, tail. OK, let's take a look on both sculptures that we have made today. Here's the side view, the front view, and the side view again. Also, we can use simple sword to represent fish and rod. I use a flat balloon to tie fish to the fishing rod. Have fun and happy twisting!